about Josh Manson, the Anaheim Ducks, rugged, right shot? Yeah, I mean, the first team that comes to mind for me is Colorado. And the Avs have such a talented blue line right now, uh, you know, with uh, Girard and obviously Kale McCarr. And then, of course, you have Bowen Byram and Devon Taves. You know, they have a lot of those guys that are, are great mobile puck movers that can provide offense. Um, but I think Josh Manson would give them a different look and, and sort of fill out that other side. Uh, and, you know, they do have some big defenders uh, who are, are, are pretty good. But Manson would kind of put them over the top, in my opinion. And again, Colorado's going for it. Uh, so why not do everything you can to put yourself in a position to win that championship? Uh, similarly, you know, I look at the Pittsburgh Penguins as a team that could really use some defensive depth. And, you know, they've, they've had some players uh, play better than expected, like Michael Matheson, for example. But when I look at that blue line core, you know, outside of Chris Letang and, and Brian Dumoulin, like it doesn't fill me with confidence right now. Um, no offense, but I think Josh Manson would be a really big upgrade to some of the other guys that Pittsburgh has playing right now. And, you know, if, the, if, if they're going to make one more run in the Crosby Malkin era, you got to throw everything at it. And I think Manson would be a pretty good fit there. Mm -hmm. And you make a good point about that decor because it's different. You know, when the Penguins won in 2016 and 17, it was like, okay, they had sort of a ragtag decor, but their forward group was so elite. You know, you had Phil Kessel still in his prime on your third line and you could afford to have a just okay defense core. But now that the, you know, the Penguins have become more top heavy, their forward group is not quite as elite as it was. You kind of need more help from, from your D. So it makes sense. Um, I mentioned the Jets for David Savard. So I think if you don't get David Savard, I think Josh Manson brings a lot of similar things to the table, playing the right side. He's, you know, a physical guy who can play a shutdown role. So I think he'd be obviously a good fit in Winnipeg. Also the Panthers. I think the Panthers, they are, I'd be shocked if they don't find a replacement for Aaron Ekblad. You can't waste the season. It's awful that you lost Ekblad, but the team has been really good. They're right near the top of the standings. So I, I think you have to do what you can if you're Bill Zito to replace, you can't replace Aaron Ekblad, irreplaceable, but to at least get a top four-ish defenseman to play that right side to fill the void and at least you know patch it over for this the rest of this season and Josh Manson is a guy who I, I believe again he has another year left on his deal as well so you're getting that kind of luxury rental uh so to me I've got the Panthers as the best landing spot for Manson so as you can guess I kind of am predicting the Panthers are going to be active because I have them as the Taylor Hall winner and the Josh Manson winner